Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have your teams for you. Teams Tuesday, the world event, the faction assault, stuff like that. I might break up like the Soul Forge uh, team. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know how many teams are going to be on here, but hopefully a bunch. It's community teams. So I'm going to shout people out, use their teams, critique them, and all that good stuff. First thing I want to say, though, is happy birthday to Kyle. Kyle's birthday was yesterday. I meant to say happy birthday yesterday, but I was trying to switch it up, do a different like type of video, and I, was, I, I have a one-track mind. Then the whole metal fiasco thing, and it just slipped my mind. So, hey, shout out to uh, Kyle. Happy birthday. Um, hope you had a good birthday. As far as the metal thing goes... It was in my five secrets uh, video. Every other secret's cool. Every f four of, out of the five are still perfectly fine and really good secrets. And I'm going to put out another video. And we'll go five for five in the next one. But the metal one, it's kind of like when the Noma Palooza came out. This is my like comparison. The Noma Palooza came out on that Thursday. There was kind of like a bug where you could keep rolling your, your Noma Paloozas over and over and over and over. It wasn't supposed to happen. It was a bug. Well, there was a metal bug where you could use your world event uh, medals on Saturday, Sunday and to metal a troop. And then the next day, and then on Monday when you're supposed to get seasons, the equivalent amount of seasons, you would still get them even for the ones that you used that weekend. doesn't work anymore. If, it, if you think it's still working, maybe... You could try it again. I don't want you to waste a metal, but um, you could try it again. But I think it's adding all your, your tokens you already have to your Medal of Seasons tokens that they're giving you. And then it looks like you're getting a medal back when you're actually not getting the exact same amount. So I think it's fixed. It don't work anymore. No way for me to check it before I made that video. As soon as I found out, I, I said it, I screamed it out loud and made a ad-free video where I don't get monetized at all, just to make sure I told y'all. But anyway, let's get into these teams. Probably gonna have, like, freaking ten teams, and I'm just blabbing. But I just wanted to clear that up. But here's the Faction Assault. It's the Warrens. We got, uh... Oh, your uh, gold farming team. A lot of people, whenever I use this team, they're like, what about... What about this weapon or that weapon? Skeleton Key got nerfed. It didn't get nerfed that bad. It got nerfed as bad as Gob, gob Truffle. You still use Gob Truffle, right? So, it's not, it didn't get nerfed so bad that you need to switch up your whole team to, to plunder and peril or whatever it's called or anything else. I just ate some ice cream, I'm sorry. It was really good, too. It was like peanut butter, fudge. Um, it was awesome. I'm like on a peanut butter kick right now, like I'm pregnant or something. Peanut butter and pickles, y'all. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, with this team, you just cast your Greed, then you cast your Egg Thief 8,000 times until you get your Skeleton Key up, and then you uh, kill them with your Skeleton Key, you get an extra turn, and you just keep going. You, you just have to shoot your Skeleton Key off, like, twice. And you're getting extra gold, and all that good stuff. So Greed, and then we want to get our Egg Thief up. Red or green. Boom, it's up. We got full gold, so our Skeleton Key is going to hit really hard. Boom, they're both dead. Greed again, or uh, Egg Thief again. You only need to cast Greed once. And then Skeleton Key. It's easy. It's one of the safest teams in the game. It's kind of fast. It's not the fastest, but it's still pretty fast. And it'll give you like tons of extra resources as you do as you go through uh, go through here. 1,000 gold per battle here. But yeah, let's uh, look at it just so I can tell you. Like as far as the um. As far as the uh, class goes, you don't really have to use any certain class. If you want to use a certain class, you can just level something up, honestly. I think it technically Thief class goes the best with it, but I was using Warden. You could use whatever, Elementalist, if you want a 50% start, whatever. So, class doesn't really matter. That's the other beauty about this team. You can just level up classes with it. So, yeah, that's the world or uh, the Faction Assault team for the Warrens. All right, here we are on the world event. You want to do Sky Goat first, then Fairy Godmother, then Pan, and then just Rarity Order. It's really easy, so Sky Goat always first, though. Here's my team from yesterday. I think it works perfectly fine. I don't need to change anything about it. But uh, Essence of Evil with Archer, Double Blue, Green, Minus Yellow, Queen Beatrix, Scourge of Honor, Trickster. So let's do a couple battles here. And... Um, then we'll move on to the no 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 team and then I'll do some community tab teams. So that is the itinerary. Alright, so let's go on this team. 
This is you using every resource possible to you. Mythics, legendaries, weapons. We got a purple extra turn. Um, so now Trickster's up, right? But let's take this green. We got Queen Beatrix. We win. She hits really hard. She does true damage. If she doesn't finish him off, she might get an extra turn and finish him off next time. Or Sky uh, Scourge of Honor would finish them off. So let's do another one. I'm not going to do too many here because we got tons of teams today. And there's not much to explain with this team. Get up Essence of Evil or Trickster. Cast it. Use your Queen Beatrix. Then use your uh, Scourge of Honor if you need it. Like, Queen Beatrix just up right away, almost murdered him all by herself, and then Scourge of Honor finished him off. Should go pretty far, and even when you're super deep, you got Essence of Evil to, to tie them up. You got Trickster to get everybody up quickly. You're going to mess up their team too with Trickster and put them in a different order. You got Queen Beatrix with a cleanse and true damage. You got Scourge of Honor cursing true damage. It's awesome. So Queen Beatrix also could get an extra turn when she casts, so... I think it's good. True damage is, is really a smart way to go when you got a, a metal with spell damage on it. Alright y'all, here is my idea for a no 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 team, a no mythic, no legendary, no Dawnbringer team. Even though there's pretty good troops in the underworld that are legendaries that you could get really easily, I gotta say this every single time because I wanna make, you know... Make sure you're on the right track doing the right things in this game, and you need to be on the... Go look at my video, the top five underworld troops, you know. Go check out my um, new account playthrough where we go into the Delves for the first time, and I get the Mirage Queen, Queen Beatrix, King Gobtruffle, Harpy Mage, Gargoyle. Like, they're so awesome, and you can get them so easily, and they're, and they're legendary, so it kind of scares you, but they're really easy to get because they're super targeted and use a different resource to get them, and... It's super easy, so get Queen Beatrix if you can, but if you cannot, for some whatever reason, you have no Chaos Shards today, and you just want to use something um, that's not a Legendary, and that's just the way we do it. We do no Legendary, no Mythic, no Dawnbringer for uh, this team. So, using Essence of Evil again, it's a really good weapon. It could bail you out of a jam if you need it, and it can explode and, and get everybody up. Archer class again, 50% start, it entangles, it has a green storm, everybody on our team is green, double blue, ah, I didn't change my banner, uh, hold on a second, for those of you that like me to do, do it this way, I'll just do this on video, who am I going to want to get up first out of those people, I would say the trickster, just to make sure, because he's going to help get everybody up, so I'll go double green, purple, minus red, minusing a color we're not using, Doubling up on the color we use the most, and then picking the most important second color, and that's sp uh, Spider Banner. At least in my opinion, that's how I do it. Everything I say on this channel is my opinion, you know? Essence of Evil, Blade Dancer, Radigar, and Trickster. Blade Dancer does scatter damage boosted by all enemy armor, so it should get better as the event goes. And he has a 50% start, which is pretty cool. And if you somehow use your e lose your Essence of Evil, he has a 20% chance to dodge skull damage. And we have Ratigar, 75% uh, start, so if you want to double up on him, that might be a good idea too. Um, I'm thinking maybe he'll kill somebody and then uh, Blade Dancer's scatter damage will hit harder, so that's what I'm trying here. 75% uh, start, deal 40 damage to two random enemies and inflict a random status effect on each of them. And then Trickster, of course, explodes a bunch of green, switches the first and last enemy, starts battles uh, 75%. So there's no empowered troops in this kingdom. Or in this typing, in this restriction. So we're getting as close as we can with 75% starts, 50% starts, stuff like that. So let's try this team. This would be for super low level people just trying to do their part in their guild to stay in their guild. They're not going for first place. They're not. They're, they're just trying to do their part. They may not even get all rewards. This team is specifically for people just trying to do their part. If you don't have Essence of Evil, try using Jar of Eyes, or War and Peace should be fine, um, which everybody has. Uh, what else? Um, Doomed Glaive might be okay, but it's kind of like you're risking the backfire on that one. Anyway, we got our damage dealer, so we might as well cast it, right? Boom, they're dead. Boom, they're dead. You know what I mean? So, I think this will work for people that don't have Queen Beatrix and stuff like that. There's the Sky Goat. Let's do at least one or two more battles. Then we're, we're on to the Community Tab teams, y'all. I did the Faction Assault. I did two World Event teams. One using everything at my disposal. And one using no Mythic, no Legendary, no Dombrigger. Here's Radigar again, man. He just keeps getting up right away. Might be cool just to have two of him on the team. But I think Blade Dancer will be good later. 
didn't get the kill, so... But hey, that the combo of the two will pretty much always kill something, I think. Got a green extra turn. Now here, would I do Trickster or Essence of Evil? I think early I would do Trickster, but... Later I might do Essence of Evil to tangle somebody up. I think early on I'm just going to do Trickster. See how he got both both up anyway. Yeah, maybe two Radigars would be cool. I kind of think of stuff as I go through these. Let's do one more battle here. Level 40 Winged Bison. Then we'll move on to the Community Tab Teams. I don't even know how many there are. You know before I do because it'll be in the title of the video. Last time we had 10 teams. Seven of them, I think, were Community Teams. Um, let's go. Radigar. Gets up so fast. And then the combo of the two. They're using different colors too, so that's another advantage of not just using two Radigars and using Blade Dancer instead is because he uses yellow. So he'll absorb any yellow that gets exploded from your potions, and he's enchanted, and he has a 50% start. So I think using two different tro troops with two different colors will help you later on. Plus the Blade Dancer will do better the further you go because the enemies will get more armor and then he hits harder based off that you'll get more medals too so maybe early you could do two radigars and later add in the blade dancer if you if you want but yeah that's what i'd recommend for lower level players just trying to do their part to stay in a guild that's what the no no no's for it's not for level 1000 people because you can go get queen beatrix right now all right y'all the first community tab team comes from elgin's toy a really awesome supporter of the channel. Um, she was also the first person to tell me about the metal thing not working, so I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much for that. I like to get out in front of it as soon as possible if, if there's something wrong with one of my videos, so thank you so much, Elgin's Toy. Uh, her team is um, Bard Class. Uh, she didn't put a banner in, so let's go green, of course, and then we'll minus some color we're not using, which red looks good. Um... What's what's bunny corn do? Yellow gems charm a random enemy. Um, if I was gonna, I would probably go blue honestly. Um, let's see what we got. Double green, blue, minus brown, double blue, maybe double blue. No, I really want a double green honestly. So that's not gonna work. Um, we're using yellow, blue, brown, green. So we're not using purple. We're not using red. Let's try purple. Ooh, ah, but we, we're not using red at all, so that's dumb. Um, so we'll just do double green brown. I guess that would be the best one. That's probably what she's using, because it looks like she's going for that bunny corn. So we'll do double green brown minus red, and then bard class, and then... So, of course, I gotta critique it, even though you saved my butt the other day. It is what it is, I'm sorry. Hopefully, you know, people that I want around anyway are people that can take a little bit of criticism sometimes and aren't so butt hurt. So, appreciate y'all, hopefully. So here we go. Bard class, 50% start, that's good. Um, Bard's usually used for like a yellow yellow team. This is more like a green team. So I definitely recommend Archer. It also has a 50% start and a green storm. So that's the first thing I would say is if you, I'm, you're probably trying to level up Bard, so that's probably why you're doing this. Um, so that's definitely fine. But I would say Archer class, if you wanna like make it as good as possible to get uh, the 50% start and the green storm. Um, Bard's usually used for like an all yellow team or a Dawnbringer team, but hey, if it's 50% start and maybe you're leveling it up and maybe you're going all in on Blade Dancer, I don't know. Um, we have Blade Dancer in first slot. I mean, this Fire Ruby staff is super blocked. Every single one of these troops are going to get mana before your Fire, Fire Ruby staff, so this thing may never get up, especially it being 13 mana cost. Um, so, and the way these battles go, like, you're going to get Queen Beatrix up and Blade Dancer up, and you're just going to cast them, and you're never going to use your Fire Ruby staff. So that's just, just my thoughts here without using it yet. Um, so if I was you, I'd probably move this up here. I would probably maybe put my Mana Generator next and go something like this. But let's use it the way you said, because, hey, maybe, uh, maybe something with it that I'm not seeing here. But yeah, let's try it. Elgin's Toy. Thank you so much. Fire Ruby Staff is a good idea, though. I never think about that one. But I think I'd want it in first slot. I know Bard, like, gives extra magic to last slot or something. And it looks like we got a ton of man... I mean, you have a 50% start, so you may get up eventually. But we'll see what happens here. Um, so... 
big old blue. And then might as well keep going that way, right? I mean, I would have got up next turn. That was stupid. And that's probably what's going to happen a lot of the time. Your Queen Beatrix and your Blade Dancer are going to take care of everything before you even get to cast your Fire Ruby Staff. Your Fire Ruby Staff had two turns left on it, so we would have casted Blade Dancer again before we even casted it. You know what I'm saying? So if anything, if you want to use this exact team, I'd probably at least move the Fire Ruby Staff up um, to the front so it can not be super mana blocked. As you know how mana works, you take green and then it trickles down from the top to the bottom, so... The Fire Ruby staff is never going to get any green because your Blade Dancer, your Queen Beatrix, and your Bunny Corn are going to take what they need before it would even make it to your Fire Ruby staff. Then you're going to cast them, right? And then they're going to take it again before it even... You know what I'm saying? So, let's cast Blade Dancer. Now it's going to need 11 green mana before any mana will go to your Fire Ruby staff. But you are enchanted, so it's going to get up in two turns. But here's Queen Beatrix, right? And they're all dead. So later on, this might be better and work. But uh, definitely early on, if you're want, if you wanting to take it... like When you put troops on a team, you're going to want them to be doing something. And um, so far, it, it hasn't done anything for us. But let's see what happens here. We'll do this last battle. But that would be my advice. If you, just, if you want. I mean, people use your teams the way you want to use them. And... I gotta critique them so it's more interesting. Oh, uh, let's see. Anything there? No, no, no. Okay. So here, I mean, Queen Beatrix has a chance at getting an extra turn, so you definitely want to cast her first because she could get an extra turn, and then you can cast Blade Dancer 2 on the same turn. So always cast her first. And then Blade Dance... Or I should have done Queen Beatrix again, honestly, there, because she could have got another extra turn, and we still would have had our Blade Dancer in the holster. But you see how I'm never casting Fire Ruby Staff? It's because she's being mana blocked by everything else on the team. So that would be my only thing. The class, I'm not sure about what banner you're using. And then the Fire Ruby Staff, I would definitely want to move to the front of the team. But yeah, that's it. Thank you for the team. I really, really appreciate it. Good idea, especially with that Fire Ruby Staff. I didn't even think of that. And yeah, appreciate you uh, telling me about the metal thing like as soon as possible. If anybody else wants to join me on Discord, make sure you hit me up in the comments here. We're starting to build a community there. So, you know, hit me up in the comments and I'll give you my invite code or I'll invite you to the Discord server. Alright, the next community tab team comes from Mr. Bear Razor. Another awesome supporter, Dragon God. Appreciate you, Bear Razor. Also, a smart dude that has his own thing going on over on the other place. You know, I got an itch. Yeah, check him out over there, um, doing his thing on Gems of War over there, just like Mr. D-Rock the Savage. So, check him out. Shout out to Bear Razor over there on the other place. Um, for, for this, he said, uh, Scarab Knight, and I always say that wrong. Please correct me in the comments. I need more comments. Queen Beatrix, uh, Emerald Blade, and Blade Dancer. So, of course, I already like the Queen Beatrix Blade Dancer thing. I think that's a really good way to go. Especially if you don't have two Queen Beatrixes or anything. Um, I love the banner. Um, you didn't put a class down, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna go with Archer because I think Archer's like the best class for this event right now. So I'm gonna do Archer for because you didn't tell me what class. But uh, the banner, of course, looks amazing. We have no purple troops, and it's the best banner in the game. It's two green, two red, so banner's perfect. Archer class seems good for it. Um, Scrab Knight, Queen Beatrix, Emerald Blade, Blade Dancer. The one thing I don't get is the Emerald Blade. It explodes purple gems, grants a random status effect to all Silver Glade allies, and summon a Silver Glade troop. Do we have any Silver Glade allies? We do not. So, I think Essence of Evil would be a little bit better here. Face Stick. Um, you know, anything... I mean, there's not many options. Jar of Eyes would be... So, I think there's a few things that could you could do before the Emerald Blade. I know there's not much we can do here. Like, we don't... It's restricted pretty bad, so anything that explodes is going to be fine. Like, this isn't a bad idea. I just, I don't like using these weapons if I have no, like, I have no Silver Glade allies. I have, I don't have, you know what I mean? So, it's blowing up purple. We don't use purple. You know what I'm saying? But it does give uh, mana to green, I think. So that was pretty cool. I saw that when I was leveling up. Uh, give all green allies two mana. So that's pretty cool, I guess. So, you know. It, it, it's not terrible. I just 
I would rather use Essence of Evil, Jar of Eyes, or Face Stick, or Fire Ruby Staff, or War and Peace before I use this, but we don't really have many options, so I get it. Um, Scrab Knight, another one I wasn't too sure. It's a good tank. Give Barrier and Armor. So maybe if you need a tank, like if your first slot's dying, this would be pretty good. But until that happens, you're going to want to maybe do something else. But hey, you're probably deeper than me, so that might be cool later on, of course. But for people that are watching this that are maybe going to use this team, I just got to say things like that. Like, Scrab Knight, good and everything, especially later on, it's going to help you tank. But don't you don't need to start using them until you start losing your first slot, I would say. Um, and then the Emerald Blade, like, I'd rather go Essence of Evil or Jar of Eyes even. Because at least we have a blue troop, we can make a blue storm, blah blah blah. But yeah, let's try it though. You never know till you try it, right? Queen Beatrix and, and Blade Dancer are just going to destroy everything, and it's not really going to show us, like, if we need Scrab Knight or the Emerald Blade, but it did get up right away. That's pretty cool. So here with this guy, I'm not going to cast him because I don't really need, but the Emerald Blade I will cast. That's pretty cool. It got up right away, so maybe I'm missing something here, you know? You never know till you try it. Boom, boom. You know, the more I think about it, it's not a bad idea. It's an explodey weapon, a tank, and then the two best troops that... The two best damage dealers that we got, so... I just think uh, Essence of Evil, maybe, would be my choice. But, hey, look how quickly it's getting up there. That's pretty cool. I was kind of confused at first, but... Uh, it's definitely better than I thought it would be. See how Queen Beatrix can get an extra turn and just do everything by herself? That's pretty much this a world event, like Queen Beatrix. Queen Beatrix. You know, I like to do that with the with the world events. Like, just tell you what's the best troop for the world event. You build a team around Queen Beatrix, you're going to be fine. No matter what weapon you use, what tank you use, what other damage you use. As long as you build your team around Queen Beatrix this week, you should be fine. And she's easy to get. Uh, man, this this freaking sword gets up so fast. That's crazy. I don't know, bro. This is, like, way better than I thought. Maybe even if you, like, let's say you take that tank off there just for now and put something else, like, uh, I don't know, maybe even, like, Trickster since it uses purple and then this, this sword here will blow up purple and then you might not need it. You already have enough mana generation, right? But, I don't know, something else up there, like Sigoro, you know how Sigoro is also a good tank, but it does damage to the other team and it gains attack and life or whatever, you know that legendary Sigoro? Maybe that instead of the Scrab Beetle? I don't know, man. I think this is, like, a really good idea. Um, especially that sword just gets up quickly. I'm just weird using it with no Silverglade allies. I, I guess I get locked into, um, I put myself in a box there, I should think outside the box. I only want to use those weapons with the uh, typing, but sometimes you don't have a choice. The restriction's just too heavy. Some of the times, like this battle, we're not going to use it at all. But when, when it gets up fast like that, it's crazy good. I like it. Yeah, good team, man. I'd recommend it. I like it. So yeah, shout out to Bear Razor. Thank you so much. This team is pretty good. Um... Better than I thought it would be, so shout out to you, bro. Alright, the next community tab team we have here, or community team, is Imperial Topaz's team. Um, unknown PT did sin send in a no, no, no team, but it was exactly the same as mine. I told him that might happen, and, but shout out to him. He, he did it in the comments before I did it over here, but I didn't like, you know, I think it, it might have been in the back of my head, but I doubt it. But, yeah, we, we came up with the exact same thing, Unknown PT. So, shout out to you and your No, No, No team. Um, I should have just called it your team. Um, but Imperial Topaz's team says, uh, Bard Class, Yasmin's Pride Weapon, Queen Beatrix, Scourge of Honor, Pan, Maze Banner. So, that's what we got here. Um, man, you're throwing the nuclear bombs at it. That's pretty cool. Like, you got every good troop here. 
Uh, let's see. So, first thing, Yasmin's Pride. Eliminate all armor from an enemy. Give all allies life. Boosted by armor eliminated. That's kind of like the Scrab Knight thing from uh, Bear Racer's team. Like, you might need that later on. I don't know how far you guys are going in this world event. I don't go, like, super duper far to where I die and need a tank and stuff. But if you are, you might, you know. So, I don't know. You might need a tank. So, Yasmin's Pride on your hero is definitely a good tank. Um, Queen Beatrix... Best, best, best troop for this event, so. Scourge of Honor. This was, yeah, that's what I did, you know, pretty much. I had Trickster and, um, uh, Essence of Evil on my team. Pan. Bunch of damage. All Wild Folk allies gain life and magic when matching four or more, more gems. And I understand the Bard now. Remember, uh, Elgin's dead Bard? Um, it's making your team, it's making your hero Wild Folk. Um, and that's cool, and, and that's a good idea, but in my opinion, I think Archer class with the Green Storm and a 50% start would be a little bit better. Um, if we were making our team full Wild Folk because we were using King Salinas because we were getting a 50% start, or we were using Glaive of Many Goats and we were trying to boost like the mana generation, the colors we get, the gems we get, the gem spawn, or if we were using like an Explodey weapon that had Wild Folk on it, like that's when I would make my class a Wild Folk. Um, and it's not a bad idea. You're getting a 50% start. It's making you a wild folk, so your whole team's wild folk. Not a bad idea, but it's really a yellow class, and we're using, like, a bunch of green, and I'd rather do Archer, who also has a 50% start. It has an Entangle, so you don't have to worry about being a, having Yasmin's Pride instead of Essence of Evil or Scrab Knight instead of something other damage dealer. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Bard's a decent idea, because you're making your whole team wild folk, so I get it. And a 50% start. And you're leveling it up if you don't have it leveled up. But Queen Beatrix, Scourge of Honor, Pan. So you got Pan catching yellow. You got Scourge catching red. You got uh, Queen Beatrix making green and brown. And everybody else uses green and brown. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of like the nuclear bomb of uh, World Event teams. You're using all the best troops with a tank. But no real mana generation is the first thing I see. Queen Beatrix, um, you know... I would rather have something that's going to get... You said in your comment that's a little bit slower, but... With your Explosion Potion and your Enchant Potion, it should be fine. I'm just in the habit of trying to get up my team as quick as possible and just blow through these world events so I don't have to look at them anymore. I don't really like them that much. But if you're going super deep and, you know, you got a bunch of potions, then you probably don't need a, mana, a quick mana generator, so... Yeah, the only thing I could say is... Maybe Essence of Evil instead of Yasmin's Pride. Maybe Archer class instead of uh, instead of Bard class. Everything else, you're just you're using the best troops. So, you know, maybe Trickster or something instead of Pan, because I bet you Pan's never going to get up. He's not going to contribute really. But you do it. The good thing about it is he has Totem of the Veil, which is contributing no matter what. So every time you get um, match four or more gems, you're going to be helping the team. So. That's cool. I like troops where, even when they do nothing in the team, at least one of their traits does something. But we got Yasmin's Pride up, but I don't need it, really, because it's not going to help right now. It'll eliminate armor, but we got true damage, so you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter if we eliminate the armor, because we're skipping right by it anyway. You know what I'm saying? So even if I casted that, my team's not... My, I don't need the, the HP or anything. Nobody boosts off of it. I don't really need a tank right now because it's still, like, really easy. We're early in the week. So, you got to change your team as you go. If you really want the best team and, and if you really want the best team in this world event, you kind of have to, like, use different teams. You can't use the same team the entire time. Like, this team might be the best team if you're super-duper late and you need a tank and you need all this damage down here and all the best troops. Like, this could be the best team when you're, like, number one on the leaderboard. But early on, you kind of just want to hurry up and just wipe stuff out and be done with it. But using all spell damage, so I can't complain. Um, but like your comment said, I, it could be a little bit quicker maybe, but... Yasmin's Pride here is blocking everybody that's using green and brown, and we're never going to use it, right? So maybe if you want to stick with this team, maybe move this somewhere else on the team. Just to get it out of the way so it's not picking up all the green and brown that Scourge or B could use. You're kind of making your team slower by using the Yasmin's Pride. You know what I mean? So until you need it, I would use something else. 
Just like right now, you're kind of... It's soaking up all the green and brown that, that Queen Beatrix or Scourge could get. And you could be done with the battles a, a, a turn or two sooner. But that's what I'm saying. Like, in a world event, maybe you start with one... You start with a team with no tank and, like... Uh, you know, then later on you use you use a tank because it's getting harder. A uh, blade dancer might be better later because he boosts off certain things. Anyway, let's do one more battle with this team. Make sure the goat's not there. Sneaky little goat. I almost ran up against like my my 60 minute time limit on the last community tab thing, so I better put a pep in my step. Um, so he's blocking me. The first troop just blocks me, man. So if I take this brown, it's going to get soaked up by the Yasmin's Pride that I'm not going to use. If I take the green, same thing. If I take the yellow, pan's like so far away from getting up, it's like not even, you know. I'm just going to take this brown and purple and hope for yellow. That's cool, we got Scourge. Boom, get out of here. But yeah. If you don't like my critiques, people, don't submit a team next time and... You know, just so we, we stay cool and everything, but I'm not right about everything, and you could have specific ideas for why you're using certain teams. Maybe you're leveling up a class. Maybe Pan's your favorite troop in the game. Maybe you're way later in the game than I am as far as, like, the world event. So, who knows? But thank you so much, Imperial Topaz, for uh, submitting your team and for being a Dragon God freaking center. All right, next team was submitted by King. King Forever. I King Forever. Um, let's take a look at it. We have Elementalist class, double blue, green, minus yellow, banner, um, Jar of Eyes, Queen Beatrix, Queen Beatrix, Scourge of Honor. First thing I see here is we're, like, using the same color for all three of these troops. That's, it's just an unfortunate thing with this event. Like, the Jar of Eyes might be the best weapon. Queen Beatrix might be the best troop. Unfortunately, they use the same freaking mana colors, which, you know, not our fault here. Second thing, uh, the summoner in first slot, but that should work good early. Maybe later on you can move it down somewhere, like, who knows. But then it'll get blocked by Queen Beatrix and probably never cast, but eventually it'll get up, especially if you're in, like, a later battle and you got enchant and explosions and stuff, and by the time you need it, it'll get up and everything. So I don't know what, what I would do here as far as, like, I don't know. Maybe put Scourge of Honor in first slot? He does explode a green gem at the start of battle, too, so that's nice. I forgot about that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's just difficult because these all use the same colors. You're probably doing what the best you can do here. Um, Elementalist class, no 50% start. Uh, it does stun, freeze, burn, and entangle. That's always nice. It does have dust storm and um, rock solid, right? Lightning strike. So, I'm using Deluge for some reason. Rock Solid, Storm Aura, Lightning Strike, Stun, all the stun and all that crazy stuff it does. So not bad. I would want a 50% start early, but later on. But let's see how it goes. I'm thinking it's going to go. Queen Beatrix gets up, casts, and then just destroys the other team by itself. So anything you can do to like build your team around a Queen Beatrix or two, I think is the way to go in this event. Um, we need green or blue. Don't have it, so brown it is. Um, we need green or blue still. We still don't have it. So red it is. Somehow Scourge is going to get up first. This is crazy. This will never happen in a normal battle. That was just crazy starting board. I like how he explodes a green. I like the, um, Bear Razor's weapon, that, that sword. Like, that was kind of cool. Like, that was thinking outside of the box. That was, cr I don't know. The Fire Ruby Staff, that was also thinking outside the box. You guys are thinking outside the box. I like it. I'm all stuck in the meta, so everything I say is stuck in the meta, so that kind of sucks. Um, green and blue, please. Perfect. Oh, he did get up there, too. Well, we want to cast the troop that has a chance at getting an extra turn, of course. To keep it on our turn. To do even more damage still on our same turn, you know? Dang, that dude hits hard, though. 
Scourge of Honor. If Queen Beatrix didn't have a chance at getting an extra turn and all that cleanse and, and be having less mana cost and easier to get and everything, Scourge of Honor might be the best troop in this event. She's just like on a technicality, having a chance at an extra turn, having a cleanse on four or five, and being way easier to get is the only reason she's probably better than lower mana cost. Otherwise, Scourge might be the best troop for this event. Um, let's see. Green. Jars up. Blocking the crap out of our Queen Beatrix, but let's just cast it. It'll probably get her up. Of course not, but it got the Scourge up. Who killed? Sometimes you think something's going to happen in a, with a team, and then something else happens. I like that. I don't know, man. I can't say much about it. Uh... Keep going with it. I think it'll work. Maybe later on move your jar down so you can use that summon if you start dying. But other than that, I don't know what to tell you. It seems pretty good. Maybe you could take one Queen Beatrix off. That way you're not using, like, all green and blue. And you could put on, like, a, a um... I don't know. I keep saying Trickster, and I keep going back to my team, of course, because that's what I got in my head, and that's what I'm using, and that's what I decided was the best. But, you know, Jar of Eyes is a great idea. I almost used that myself, so... The only way I can improve, think of to improve your team is move the jar down later when you need the summon and maybe use like Trickster or something else, whatever you want to do. Bunny, the bunny, something that does mana generation. Um, just because I'm never casting the second Queen Beatrix, it's looking like. I thought it was going to be Scourge of Honor I wouldn't cast, but that's not the case. It's the second Queen Beatrix. So the more you use your team, if you notice that you're not using a certain troop, try putting in something else that uses a different color that you can soak up from the uh, potion explode and use the enchant and everything. So that's why I use Trickster, because it's using purple. None of my other troops use purple. It has like a 75% start, and it's going to get up quickly, and I'm going to use it. So make sure you, for everybody that submitted teams, if, if, if you notice a troop is just never getting up and you're never using it, then switch it out for something else that at least does something with a trait or uses a different color that you're not using. But yeah, thank you, King. Uh, worked well, and w went a different way than I thought it would go. All right, the next team we have is from Tom M. I did have to skip a couple teams, and the reason being was, you know, I'm trying to do, I don't know. Why, why did I skip a couple teams? Hold on a second. I'll tell you why. Robert Kennedy is using Crescendo. I don't have Crescendo, but that looks crazy. Like, I don't have Crescendo. It does true damage to all enemies. If you have Crescendo, that's a good idea. I just don't have it for some reason. And then, um, somebody else. So if you don't see your team, there's probably a reason. Uh, Misty Farber using the Silent Guard. I didn't see the Silent Guard as an option here. But my, my game is being weird. Like, I could not find Yasmin's Pride for the life of me until I, like, reset my game and turned it back on. But I don't see the Silent Guard, so I don't know what you're actually trying to say or if my game's just being dumb and it's not here for whatever reason but i had to skip by a couple teams and then i'm going to also probably take a break off live streams tomorrow and maybe do the soul forge troops so if you submitted a soul forge troop team like the wild queen or yao Gui or anything else obsidious you'll probably see it tomorrow not today um but thank you robert kennedy and misty and everybody else bear razor um but there probably is a reason if i didn't show it and Possibly I didn't have the, the weapon, or it's not a world event team, and I might use it tomorrow, yada, yada, yada. But here is Tom M's team. Um, he did not submit a class or a banner, so I'll just do whatever I think's best, which for me this week I'm thinking archer class. Bard is okay because it's, it's wild folk, and everybody's a wild folk, so if you did bard, I don't think it's a bad idea. I keep It's like rowing on me. Um, but I like the green storm idea, the 50% start, uh... The, the Entangle and all that good stuff. Um, but he did Essence of Evil Triple Luna. And he said later on he's going to do Essence of Evil Triple Blade Dancer. Which, um, and he didn't put a banner, so let me figure out a banner. We got green, we got yellow. Double yellow, green, minus blue. Double green, yellow, minus blue. Let's do that. Warren Banner. Um, first thing I think with this team is, like I've said earlier, it's kind of the theme of this video. You're probably not going to use, like, this last Luna here, so you could put somebody else, whoever you want it to be. A mana generator would be my uh, 
you know, recommendation. I don't want to keep recommending Trickster. There's just not very many good empowered mana generators with this uh, event. So I keep saying Trickster because he uses purple. He's got a 75% start. He blows up green. A lot of these troops use green. So that's why I keep saying Trickster. But there are other troops you could try as far as mana generation. I like Essence of Evil. I think it's one of the best weapons you could use for this event. Luna, I definitely like Luna. Um, no one no one used it yet. It explodes a yellow gem. Explode a ye random gem and matching yellow gem. So, well, Luna's good because she hits all enemies. So, I like it. Yeah, the only thing I would say so far with this team is, you know, maybe put something else on that last slot except for three Lunas. Because I just feel like you're not going to use all three Lunas. And even if, like, you need to cast Luna three times, I guarantee your, your first Luna will be back up before you even cast that last one. You know what I'm saying? So, hopefully somebody's learning something out of this and nobody's getting their feelings hurt. Like, that's my hope with this video. Nobody gets their feelings hurt and somebody learns something. Whether, even if it's not the people that submitted the teams. Like, somebody out there, maybe they learned something about mana blocking or you, getting the most out of your team. Like, even if you, you, like, take a troop off if it's not, if you're not using it, take it off. Put something else on there with a different color that's going to help your team. Whether it's a trait or whatever. All right, what do we got here? Let's just get some green, get Essence of Evil. Here's a giant green extra turn. We could take this and then this instead of doing it the dumb way there. Now we cast Luna. And then they screwed up my team, so this is going to be weird. Let's grab this big green. Got all three Lunas up. It's kind of going against what I was saying, but I'll show you. It's cool that you're going to have all those status effects going there, so it's kind of a neat team. Sometimes people submit neat teams, or they submit teams using troops that they like, But and I'm thinking like meta in my head. So I can't tell you, hey, don't use that troop that you like, or hey, don't try that neat thing, or you're giving a ton of status effects to your team. Like, if you're doing something for a specific reason that's fun to you, then keep doing it. I'll see if I can show you what I mean about uh, the three Luna thing. Like, I could do three Queen Beatrixes, but I would never... I would think the last Queen Beatrix would just never get up. Like, the first one would get back up before I use the third one. Uh, Essence of Evil? Is that the Silent Guard guy over there? How come I can't... Oh, Satyr Hunter? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out who Silent Guard is and why I don't have it. See, like, that battle, for example. I, didn't, I only used one... One Luna... Let's do a really hard battle, Sky Goat, and see what happens. Maybe we'll use all three. Just trying to help. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so here we're going to cast Luna. Then we're going to cast the second Luna. Now we're going to cast Essence of Evil. And now the, the second Luna is back up before I would cast that third Luna. You see what I mean? And they're all dead. I mean, maybe super deep, but you said you're using Blade of Dan the Dancer, uh, Blade Dancer super deep. Like, it technically got up, but I still didn't need it because the second Luna got up. So that's all I would say. Especially early on, you might want to put something else in that third slot except for that third Luna. And, uh, something you're going to use, whether it's a trait or a, you know, trickster to explode and get everybody up quicker, get the battle done faster. I'm just trying to get through this event as quick as possible, basically. But thank you so much, Tom. I like the idea. I like how you're using Luna. No one else used Luna. I like Luna. She's cool. Especially cool troop art. Pink hair. Bunny ears. She's got cool status effect thing going on. Yeah, thank you. And yeah, that was the last team of the day. So I think overall we learned some things. At least I did. Like, Fire Ruby Staff seems like it, it's something you could look into. Crescendo. Um, that bla that silver emerald blade or whatever that Bear Razor used. I think that's neat. And thinking outside the box, and I might even you try to use that. Because it, it just gets up so fast. And then it gives green troops mana. And then, you know, like, that really something I might try. That, that blade. The emerald blade or whatever it was. The silver glade uh, weapon. Um, what else? Uh, we talked about, like, making sure you're using every one of your troops, making sure you're not mana blocking, 
Um, I like how every single person used spell damage, and they didn't try to do single target damage, and they didn't try to use, like, skulls or something. Like, you guys are learning, and I really, I could see that. And I appreciate, yeah, I appreciate, like, we're seeing progress here. I really appreciate it. So, thank you to everyone that submitted their teams. In my eyes, the best thing to do this week would be Queen Beatrix. Um, that's just the standout troop for me this week. But Scourge of Honor kind of, you know, that one team that we saw there, he was kind of doing his thing. So Scourge of Honor is close behind her. And then I like the, the weapons some of you use. You're kind of thinking outside the box there. So maybe some sort of Queen Beatrix, uh, Scourge of Honor, then maybe like Bear Razor's weapon, and then like a Trickster to like two mana generators, two really hard-hitting spell casters. That might be the way to go. So I might change my team to that. But anyway, like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel, comment below, and I will see you all next time. If you didn't see your team on here, either I didn't have the troop or it was like the same exact team as like another person or my, or my team, or it was a, a team using a troop in the Soul Forge, and I'm going to do that tomorrow probably if we don't do a live stream, which I think I'm going to take a break. It's March now. February, hey, I'm not sure. I think we, we kind of did the Hail Mary, and we kind of caught it at, we caught it, we made a touchdown, but then we missed, like, the extra point. So we got really close to making this not the worst month ever in the last six months. But I don't know. I got It's a day or two behind, so I got to see what happens, like, today and tomorrow. And then I'll see, like, if uh, – hopefully we pulled it out. Hopefully we, we made that extra point field goal and tied up the game. But quite possibly we threw a Hail Mary and caught it on the one-yard line, and then time ran out on the clock. It was really close. It was a good effort, but – I don't know. I just like to say February, kind of like I was scrambling at the end of it, putting out a million videos, trying to make it happen, doing my part, you know, and we almost got it, dude. Like Hail Mary pass, caught at the, tackled at the one yard line type of deal. We may get it though, because like I said, it's a day or two behind and uh, I could see it go. It'll be close though for, you know, last six months being the worst or not, or the fifth. It's either going to be fifth or sixth, but I'm hoping it's fifth. And I pulled it out at the end. You guys, too. We did it together. 50-50 there. I was just trying to cram as many videos as I could at the end of the month of February as I could. And as far as the MVS goes, I'll declare a winner either tonight or tomorrow or the live stream, next live stream somewhere around then. i got to tabulate a couple things. And, uh, yeah, right now, uh, Chad, I think, is in the lead. And I don't know if anybody's going to be able to pass him up. Maybe Fiona, who's in second. And then we have Trey in third. Might take a break off that also in March. We'll see. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what's going on. Uh, hit me in the comments if you want to join the Discord. Really appreciate people joining up and supporting the channel. And um, yeah, like and comment if not. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace. <laughs>